Hello YouTube and um, welcome to this tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up a um, load balancer for your Apache web service. So as you can see in this video um, so I've got three virtual machines uh, just for this demonstration um, send me ML 1, 0, 2 and 0, 3 um, I have Apache web server installed on SendVMO1 and SendVMO2 and I'm going to use Nginx as the um, load balancer front end uh, on SendVMO3 okay so say I've got a website running um, in http mysite.jungle.kvm and I've got just one web server SendVMO1 okay so if you if the traffic to your website increases and say you've got loads and loads of user connections um, to that um, website and your hardware is not very good enough so what you will need to do is uh, to cope with that you would need to um, um, schedule a downtime bring the server down upgrade the RAM and upgrade the disk to some faster disk and bring up the service so it costs you some downtime and it's also called the um, vertical scaling which is not a very easy um, thing to do so in this case what would you normally do is have a cluster of web servers running and you have and you will set up a, a front-end load balancer that balances the um, load uh, and shares it with multiple web servers so you have your um, web server you will have your website running on multiple web servers uh, and you will load balance it. Um, so this type of uh, configuration is called um, horizontal scaling. So if the traffic to your site increases, um, you can add multiple servers uh, to this cluster without affecting the service. So you don't have to bring down the service, you can add uh, additional servers and you can change the um, uh, Nginx configuration and just reload it instead of um, restarting the service. So I have SendVMO1 and SendVMO2 uh, and I'm going to set up the load balancer on SendVMO3. Let's get started. So I'm on my host machine now. So I've got these three virtual machines running. I'm going to log into each one of them on separate um, tabs. and let me open another tab and log into send me an O3 okay so first let me set up our website and um, web server on send me mo1 and send me mo2 our actual backend web service m install httpd I'll also do the same on our other server m install httpd That's installed. Let's enable the service. And start the HTTPD service. And let's open the um, HTTP port in the firewall. Okay, I'm also going to install 
and this is just optional this will just show you uh, some web content the package is called figlet oh I've got that package already installed okay so let's create an um, index.html file so if you use figlet so I'm going to um, give it a text send me ml1 and you will see a text like this so I'm going to redirect that to the web root which is war www.html index.html send me ml2 So basically, I've got two separate, uh, two different web pages um, on these two web servers. But basically, um, uh, practically, what you do is have the same web content on all these backend web servers. So in this demonstration, I need to show you um, which server we are connected to. That's why I'm uh, using a different one. Okay, so our web servers are running. HTTP HTTPD running on port 80 so our web servers are running we have opened up the firewall and we have enabled the service so now let's do the um, front-end configuration so these two are done now so now let's do the SendVMO3 part I'm going to install Nginx So once this is installed, um, we need to edit the Nginx um, default configuration file to act as a load balancer. Uh, the default configuration file is etc nginx nginx.conf. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. In a minute. okay that's installed and again let's enable start the service and open the firewall port add service http Let's check if the service is actually running. Or 80, it's running. Okay. So now let's edit the um, um, Nginx configuration file to act as a load balancer. Slash etc slash nginx slash nginx dot conf. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything under the HTTP section. And I'm going to add the following content. So I'm going to define a group of web servers with the directive upstream. And I'm going to give this group a name and say load balance my site. Um, Sorry. Let me turn off the syntax coloring so you can see what I'm doing. So use the server directive to add your servers. So my servers are sendvm01.jungle.kvm. You can use the IP address as well. So sendvm02.jungle.kvm 
So I have defined your group of backend web service and you also need to do the following code for the proxy configuration. So location, <coughs> excuse me, proxy pass. So basically, pass everything to this load balance my site. So which is the um, group that we define here? Um, that is set. So we are done with the configuration. We need to reload the nginx service. Done. Nginx seems to be happy. So we've got the HTTP port opened. And I'm going to open another tab. So this is my host machine. Oops, no girl. Okay, back in send me mo one and send me mo two. So this is send me mo one. If I do curl HTTP local host. So this is the website served from send me mo one. And this is the one served from SendVM02. And we have Nginx um, load balancer running on SendVM03. So on my host machine, I'm going to browse to the my site website. So if I do host my site, I've already uh, set up a C name uh, in my DNS server for my site. So my site.jungle.kvm uh, is pointing to send vmo3 which has the address 192.168.122.103 so this is just to show you that I'm not directly connecting to the backend web service send vmo1 or 2 so here I'm connecting to the load balancer send vmo3 which doesn't have any web contents but it just does the um, proxy pass to uh, the actual backend web service so if I do curl my site so this this time it has passed the connection to send vmo1 so let's do it again send vmo2 send vmo1 so it's actually doing the um, load balancing so the default configuration the default setup uh, if you don't specify anything here So you haven't specified any um, configuration, any load balancing configuration. So if you do that, the default is going to be round robin. So the first connection will go to the first server, second connection goes to the second server, third connection will go to the first server and so on. So that's what you see here. My first connection goes to send VMO one second to send VMO two, <coughs> excuse me, and so on. Um, so, so what if you take one of the servers down? So I'm going to stop the HTTP service on SendVM02. So I start the HTTP service, it's not running, and let's go back to our host machine and do and browse to the website, my site. So as you can see, 
um, Nginx load balancer has found that the um, SendMeMO2, one of its backend web server is down, so it redirects all the requests to the available web servers. In our case, it's SendMeMO1. Let's start the service again. So now let's check. Here we go. So now you've got the load balancing um, back again. So basically, this is how you set up um, um, load balancing using Nginx as the front end load balancer to load balance the um, Apache back end web servers. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you in this video uh, and in my next video I'm going to show you uh, the same thing using a different package so there's another package called pound which you can use so instead of nginx you can use the uh, pound package to do the load balancing so I'll try and do that in my next video and uh, thanks for watching bye